All right, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the differences between a MacBook Pro uh, 2018 or 2017, late 2017 model, and a brand new Lenovo ThinkPad Extreme, X1 Extreme. Um, so hardware-wise, as far as CPU, memory, all that kind of stuff, the X1 is a lot, a lot more robust than the uh, the uh, Apple is. Um, the MacBook Pro is late 2017, um, and so and, and it's a fairly high. It's is the highest end at that time, um, and it's I think it's got eight megs or uh, 16 megs of memory or gigs of memory. Uh, the X1 has got 32 gigs of memory. Um, the X1's got the uh, latest processor in it and the HD or the 4K monitor. So it's touchscreen 4K monitor. Um, so what, what I'm going to do is kind of go through hardware wise from one thing to the next, um, kind of the differences. Now I've been running the X1 now for about a month and I have been running the MacBook Pro for obviously a year or so. Um, so hardware wise, the display on both of these machines are, they're fairly close uh, together. The um, in fact, I really wouldn't say either one of them is any better than the other. The, the Apple uh, MacBook Pro does have a little bit brighter display. Um, and honestly, sitting and looking at it, um, things look a little crisper. The problem is, is I'm actually comparing it to running Linux on the X1. So I'm running Linux Mint versus the Apple. Um, so the the hardware specs uh the x1 is definitely the superior of the two uh, however running applications uh, processing videos uh, all that kind of stuff i really can't tell a whole lot of difference between the two um, I, I was expecting to be blown away by the x1 um, just because of its hardware specs and its onboard graphics and uh, you know, dedicated graphics and that kind of thing, but it really, uh, I've not been blown away by anything. Um, so, so the display is a little bit dimmer than the MacBook Pro. The keyboard, however, on the Mac, on the X1 is uh, a lot nicer than what you get on the MacBook Pro. The MacBook Pro keyboard, honestly, um, if I were to throw this into a pile with 500 laptops, I would almost guarantee you that the MacBook Pro would be at the bottom of the pile for keyboard. Um, I absolutely, in fact, the reason that I am running an X1 for my day-to-day -day, uh, driver is that I hate the keyboard on the MacBook Pro that much. Um, I just, I've gotten just completely sick of it. And I'm not talking about from the perspective of having hardware problems with it. I mean, just functionally, it sucks. So keyboard on the MacBook Pro, junk keyboard on the, on the ThinkPad, probably one of the best keyboards on a notebook that you can buy. Um, I really do like the, the keyboard on the, on the X1. Mouse pad. MacBook blows everybody away. I don't know why, you know, 10 years after they started making these things, why nobody can come close to Apple on the, the touchpad functionality. The, the touchpad on the X1 is not bad uh, from, from a notebook perspective. It's, it's actually a, a fairly nice trackpad. It's just you can't, you can't even begin to compare any Windows laptop uh, that exists to what Apple has pulled off with the trackpad. It, they, they really did a good job on that. So Apple definitely has the hands up on the trackpad. Um, now, or the touchpad. Now, the hardware ports that you have, uh, Apple chose to go complete USB-C, um, which I would classify as complete shit. Um, I am so sick of carrying dongles around with me. I can't even plug a USB card. I, I use a, a YubiKey to log into to our servers and stuff, and I constantly have to carry a, a little 
adapter around with me so that I can use a, a USB. The X1 has got USB 3s, two USB 3s. It's got two USB Cs. It has its own dedicated power, which is one of the problems with the MacBook Pro is because it is getting its power off of the USB C ports, you can't plug in some like uh, RAID drives and those kind of things because there's just not enough power coming out of the MacBook Pro to power more than one of those drives. Uh, where my older MacBook Pro could could I could hook two of those drives up and not have any problem at all. So the MacBook Pro has has really screwed me with the with the uh, port uh, that they chose. Now, in addition, you've got a lot more money you're going to have into the MacBook Pro just having to buy all of the adapters because none of those things are very cheap. So the MacBook Pro is definitely sucks on the ports and you know pretty much everything along with it. Um, so you've got the the MacBook Pro again. The the problem with it is the, the keyboard and the ports, which to me is enough for me to never buy another MacBook Pro um, until Apple pulls their head out of their ass. I will probably never buy another MacBook Pro. Um, you know, it, it just it's ridiculous what they've done. So the next, the next question is, is, well, okay, hardware wise, how do these things stack up? And, and so booting, and again, I'm booting OS X versus Linux mint. Um, I, I would think that Linux mint ought to boot faster than windows does. Um, so I'm kind of giving it the benefit of that, but the MacBook pro boots in about 10, 15 seconds up to the point where I can log in. And then once I log in it, you know, just a second or so it, it opens up where the MacBook or the uh, X one literally takes a minute and 20, 15, 20 seconds to boot. And most of that time is seems to be in the hardware uh, decision to, as to whether it's going to boot or not. Now, Linux Mint, once it pulls up the boot for Linux Mint, it does take a considerable amount of time there as well. Um, so it's, it, it is completely unimpressive um, when, when you're booting this thing up. Now, running software on both of these devices, they are extremely close together as far as how long it takes to open applications and to do certain things. So despite the fact that the X1 has got a lot, a lot higher end hardware on it, the MacBook Pro, which is a year, year and a half old, older than this X1, it still in, in a lot of times outperforms the X1. So, you know, I'm sure if you go run benchmarks and, you know, compare them in that manner, the X1 will probably blow the MacBook Pro away. But, you know, I, I really choose to, to compare them based on the, the programs that I run and, you know, how much I'm having to wait on that kind of stuff. And, and it really is negligible. It, it, I don't really notice a whole lot of difference between the two computers. So, you know, at the end of the day, and, and the last thing is, is the uh, X1 is actually made out of carbon fiber. And one of the one of the complaints that I have with that, it, I really like it. It's it's a nice feel. Um, it's very light. The problem with it is, is your hands everywhere you touch uh, leaves oil on the on that carbon fiber, and it is very very difficult to clean off. Uh, in fact, it's almost impossible. So it's really I, I've kind of decided that it, it'll look better once I get the whole computer dirty. Um, so that you can't see my my handprints on it as much, but that that's kind of a, a disappointment in, in in the the X1 uh, battery life. Uh, Apple Apple completely blows this thing away on the battery, um, so it's you know I'm I'm I might get two hours, maybe three hours of use out of the X1. Um, and that's not watching videos that's, you know, watching a little bit of YouTube videos, but mostly just sitting and working the, the 4k monitor really does drag the battery down on the X one. So, and, and even dimming the, the monitor, it still puts quite a load on the thing. So, um, the X one also runs a lot hotter than, well, I won't say a lot hotter. It runs warmer than the MacBook pro does, um, video 
processing that kind of thing um I, I, it's kind of hard to compare those because it, in in linux at least and i and i have thought about booting this thing up into windows and using adobe premiere to process a video to compare uh, and, I, and i may do that in a different video but um the the x1 is just you know it's a vert it's a really nice computer um but to say that you know it's it's that much better of a computer than than what the macbook pro is uh, I just, I'm, I'm not there yet. Um, and if I get there, uh, I may do another video on it, but I just wanted to kind of compare the two of these because they're, they're the two computers that I carry around on a day-to-day -day basis. I have to have the MacBook pro to process the videos, uh, do a lot of screencasting and that kind of thing. Um, so the MacBook pro is a requirement in that respect, but it is, uh, the only thing that I'm using it for. I've, I've kind of switched over to using the Linux Mint and the X1 for everything else. And I'm even doing a little bit of video processing and stuff on the X1. Um, it's just the programs over in Linux are not nearly as, as polished as what you can get on the Mac. So that's my two cents on the X1 versus the MacBook Pro.